Hello everyone. Well, this Bitcoin cycle has already been quite challenging for Bitcoin. What did we have? So let's quickly have a look. We had war. We had, well, everybody knows we had pandemic. We had China mining uh, ban. Then we had Terra Luna, Celsius, FTX crashes. We had media an SCC FUD from Gary Ginsler, which is still ongoing. We had banking collapse in the United States. We had high inflation, drying up of liquidity and uh, rate hikes recession etc and what else could there be if you look at this you know first thing you need to do is congratulate yourself that you've actually made it and you're still holding bitcoin or you're accumulating bitcoin because right now most people are giving up and that you know bitcoin is still sitting at about twenty six thousand, whatever so this is far higher than the previous toll time high regardless of all these things and a lot of people would say you know what else could happen? It's impossible. Nothing else could ever come along. And uh, there no black swan event could ever happen again. Because right now, we deserve a huge pump to a million dollars of Bitcoin. But what if I told you? And for this, you need to put your tinfoil hat on and listen carefully. What if I told you that something is brewing right now that has actually a certain level of probability of happening that could be worse then the current war we've seen, then the pandemic, and potentially even worse than the current, well, everything you're seeing in here, and especially worse than FTX crash. And that something is real. And that something has been there for some time, and nobody's paying attention to it right now. And I want to shed some light on this. And the reason why I want to do this now is because I spoke to some, you know, interesting guys yesterday, some of my insiders, and they're talking about this. And I was like, okay, this, this is like, how, how real is this? So without any further ado, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, because nobody's talking about this right now. And this is something that could be worse than all of these things and send Bitcoin quite low. But let's talk about it. Let me show you the perspective and what it all means. And what I think is going to happen. So uh, quickly, in terms of Bitcoin, we actually, again, for this beautiful pump, if you haven't watched my yesterday's video, well, you missed out on a nice pump. And right now, we had this beautiful breakout through this wedge, and it actually returned quite quickly to the downside. And right now, possibly there will be a very nice scalp trade opportunity if we actually break the support at 26,700. Uh, and the target for this could be just a quick reasonable target around 26k so your take profit could be around if you enter somewhere in this vicinity at the break of it with some volume you can place your stop here take profit somewhere in this vicinity take like two and a half to one three to one beautiful trade just wanted to point it out but now let's get to the topic of this video and certainly if you want to be trading over on Bybit this is where I'm personally trading and this is where you can claim the biggest bonuses ever up to thirty thousand dollars only but only secret. Only if you're going to use my exclusive link down in the description of this video and plus other bonuses. And right now for exclusively for a short period of time, which I'm sponsoring myself, actually, if you deposit, use my link and deposit $100, you will get a $100 bonus. If you remain an active trader on Bybit and use that money to trade, you will get an extra 100 bucks from me within a couple of days. We'll just send it to your account. But it's available only to the first 100 people. So if you want this insane bonus plus these bonuses, then use my link right now, sign up and deposit money. So uh, and again, Bybit is a really great place to trade anyway. So again, Let's get to this. Basically, we are seeing, we've seen this nice pump yesterday to like 27.4. And the big question is, what caused it? Like, why did we actually pump? Remember about tomorrow, the FOMC meeting, which is what I mentioned in yesterday's video. But let's talk about yesterday. What happened? Why, what caused this? And in my opinion, uh, well, and most importantly, certainly, you have to understand that right now, Dixie, the dollar index is pumping. And usually when dollar is pumping, um, Bitcoin is going down and all the high risk assets and everything that is counter the dollar, so to speak, is going down. So Dixie is pumping, but so is Bitcoin. So it pumped as well. And this is a bit strange considering that Bitcoin actually hit 27,000 while Bit, uh, Dixie is above 105, which previously... When Dixie was at 105, which was in March, Bitcoin was at 20K. So this is very positive. This means that Bitcoin stops to care. It's becoming more of an asset on its own. So this is very good. And the time before that was in uh, quarter, uh, the fourth quarter of 2022, Bitcoin was about 17,000. So, you know, when people are saying, oh, Bitcoin is dead, like, I mean, it's doing better than you think. But now the question is why? And the answer is actually lying right here. 
this is and I think it's actually coming from China and this is going to be again feeding the narrative of what could actually be around the corner so I'm giving you pieces of the puzzle that you need to understand before we make the conclusion and I give you my opinion as to what might happen and what might be around the corner so all these things are just precursors. There is actually a huge arbitrage opportunity in China currently for Bitcoin and USDT uh, via the peer-to-peer. -peer. So one Bitcoin is actually in China was close to like $33,000. So it's a huge premium. Uh, if you have a way of moving cash in China, you can actually arbitrage it like this and buy Bitcoin and sell Bitcoin and actually make a very hefty profit. This is, by the way, how um, Sam Beckman fraudster make, made his initial billions in arbitrage many, many years ago. So this is what is happening in in China right now and uh, so Bitcoin is has more appreciation in China then okay big question is like why what is happening and to give us our, some context right now that Gold, uh, Bitcoin is not the only one that has a premium in China also physical gold uh, price hits in Shanghai gold price hits another record as Beijing warns against dumping stocks so um, Beijing and China is defending its currency right now because Yuan is collapsing and also arguably you could say that uh, there is a different precursor. It's not. It might be uh, might be not just because of the housing sector and Evergrande and all these collapses of big um, real estate developers. Because about seventy percent of assets are actually in China by of people as well are actually held in real estate. This is how they've built it. Well, obviously in the wrong way. And this is what is kind of collapsing right now. So a lot of people are fleeing in China. They're fleeing from Yuan, from property sector into gold and obviously Bitcoin and all these kinds of assets that are believed to be a protection against crises and times of uncertainty. Uh, and a lot of people believe that it's just because of, you know, the Shanghai and China defending the Yuan. And because of this, we're seeing these kinds of effects. But if I told you that, and we're getting to the culmination of this video, what if I, again, guys, if you appreciate these, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, what if I told you that there is uh, a different scenario that currently is at play that is actually causing these premiums, adding to the reason why we were seeing these premiums, especially in Bitcoin. And that is something to do actually uh, with the uh, tensions between US and China because of one particular thing. And we are saying, actually, this is uh, before I get to it, this is another uh, proof that the tensions are rising because Apple actually lost about 200 billion in market capitalization on reports of iPhone restrictions in China. So China is, you know, starting to fight US more and more and more, being part of the, you know, BRICS nation, so to speak, and the uh, US in the turn is doing the same thing. So the tensions between two are escalating and escalating and escalating. And now this could be the breaking point over one simple topic. And that topic is Taiwan. And uh, Taiwan Defense Ministry is urging be Beijing to stop military harassment after 103 Chinese warplanes fly near the island. So we've already known about Taiwan that there is this, you know, uh, escalating tensions, especially because Taiwan was kind of becoming friendly with the U.S. and all of that. So right now, this actually this conflict is escalating, and China is not letting um, off uh, U.S. off of the hook. And right now, you know, this is actually an old one, but Biden has said that U.S. forces would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion. And this threat right here, the Chinese invasion, is actually quite real. And certainly, uh, this was this is the old one, but the new one is right here. And Congress uh, should debate now whether we defend Taiwan, not on the eve of invasion. This is like a few days old. So this threat is real, and they're discussing this. And now, this brings me to the biggest point of this video is to, you know, what could be worse than FTX and what could be worse than all the things that I've actually mentioned in the beginning of this video. And this would be the uh, full-on war between the United States and China uh, because of Taiwan. And a lot of people will say, like, Taiwan, like, how is this important? Because Taiwan is, like, somewhere in Asia, U.S. is in U.S. Like, you know, it might be just like with Ukraine, they could promise some support, but at the end just maybe send some weapons, and that's about it. But actually, Taiwan is a lot more important. And uh, here are a few reasons why it's more important. Taiwan sits in an important position in the world's most economically uh, con consequential region that is critical to the region's security and critical to defense of the vital U.S. interests in the Indo-Pacific. So this is number one. Uh, its fate will, uh, in large part, determine the balance of power in the region. So this is the 
big port. You know, it's always US wants to have power. So and Taiwan is, you know, it actually has this very huge implication when it comes to the power of US in that particular region. With Taiwan outside of its control and US allies and partners arrayed throughout the first island chain, China's military will struggle to protect power far beyond China's shore shores, which China doesn't want. However, if China were to annex Taiwan and base military assets such as underwater surveillance devices, submarines and air defense units on the island, it would be able to limit the US military operations in the region and subsequently its ability to defend its Asian allies, which actually is similar to what Russia is saying as to why they invaded Ukraine. Now, let's not get into the Russian situation. Uh, what happens in the Taiwan Strait will have enormous implications for future of US alliances in the region, which constitute Washington's most important asymmetric advantage over Beijing. So this is hugely political. Taiwan is huge. Uh, and I, either outcome would result in diminished US influence and increased regional and global instability. But this is, uh, you know, first part of it. A Chinese attack on Taiwan, regardless of its success or whether the United States chose to intervene, would also trigger a global economic depression, this most important part when it comes to Bitcoin, depression and shave trillions of dollars of global economic output. Why? Because Taiwanese companies manufacture ne nearly 70% of the world's semiconductors and around 90% of the most advanced chips. If the world loses Taiwan's production capacity, no other company will be able to fill the gap in the short term. During the a Chinese blockade or attack, the production and shipment of semiconductors would come to a halt, leading to a shortage of nearly every product that contains technology. From smartphones to computers and cars, companies across a range of industries would have to reduce or even absolutely halt production. As you can see right here, the amount that tai Taiwan produces in terms of semiconductors. So therefore, if China were to take over, or there would be some real physical military um, conflict in tai Taiwan, this would have insane um, uh, physical and monetary implications, economic implications, just because of the semiconductors. And this threat right now is real. But then the question becomes, if we were to see a real on war between China, Taiwan, uh, and then maybe US getting involved, how would this impact Bitcoin? The thing is that short term perspective, I believe if this were the case, because again, this is not very likely, but it's possible that this could happen. This could be that one last black swan event that nobody is expecting and everybody's saying, oh, we had so many of them. What else could happen? This shit is real. So if this were to happen, I think there would be again, shortage of liquidity across all markets. Just this, just like during the pandemic, this huge flash crash down, but it would be, in my opinion, a very steep recovery. And for this particular reason, partly, I think that we are saying right now, possibly from the insiders who know that this is becoming more and more real, that they are trying to exit and they're trying to get money out into gold, into Bitcoin, whatever, because they know that this is going to be the safest bet for this kind of a situation. So, but short term, we would see a crash. But in my opinion, long term, even this, if this would happen, this would actually lead to a huge relief rally, which is reason why we're actually seeing gold appreciate and Bitcoin together with it, regardless of us seeing Dixie rally. So this is something that could bring, cr in other words, this could be something that could bring crazy volatility. But again, guys, just pay attention. I want you to know these things. I want you to pay attention to these things. I want to, you to understand what is happening outside of the United States and interest rates and liquidity. This is important. So I'm going to keep you updated on this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and check out this quick tutorial as to how to trade Bitcoin with proper risk and money management and um, use my link to buy bit down the description of this video. Claim those extra hundred bucks if you deposit a hundred bucks. Again, first hundred people, first come, first serve, uh, free money for you guys. And as always, peace and love, time scrollers, stay smart, stay rich, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.